To start editing sound in Audacity, first you need to find the sound files. You should have transferred or made a copy of the files from the recordings folder that was shared with you in your Google Drive account into your project folder. In this case, it's the elevator pitch project. Open that folder, and in here I've got the file I need along with the folder that has all the sound. Remember, Audacity, you have to keep these two items together, the Audacity project file and also the Audacity project folder, because inside this folder is all your, your sound recordings. But in order to launch Audacity, just go ahead and click on the Audacity project file, double click on it, it should ask you this warning message, click open, and your project should be open in Audacity. Now, in order to make your editing easier, it's good to have your script open too. So I'm going to resize this window. I'm going to go back to my folder, and in it I have my script, which is already set to open with OpenOffice. So I'll double click on the script, and OpenOffice will open up. Now what you should do is resize your window so you can kind of follow along with your script while you're doing your editing. It'll just make it easier. If you have a printed copy of the script, you don't need to go through this step. Back in Audacity, in order to be able to see the entire recording, just click on this Fit Project button. You can see it zooms out to include everything that's been recorded. I'm going to go ahead and play back some of the sound. Use the Command plus the Tab key to switch back to your script. I may not be able to hear it that well, but this is the first part of my script. And actually where I'm going to start is right here. My name is Rich Yako. And so as you can see on the script, that's where I should be starting, but I've got this extra recording beforehand, so I'm just going to click and drag to highlight the stuff I don't need. And now on the keyboard I can press the delete key, or I can go to the edit menu here and choose remove audio, cut. And now when I press the space bar to play, or I can press this little play button. My name is Rich Yako and I have been the video production teacher at James Logan High School since the fall of 2012. For the ninth school. <clears throat> okay, now I noticed I made a mistake. So I'm going to click here where I think that mistake starts and just check again. For the ninth school. <clears throat> okay, so that's the beginning of the sentence where I made the mistake. Notice over here in my script, that's where I want to get back to. So I'm going to go ahead and find where I picked it up. Now I did count in, so watch what happens when I play this part here. Two, one. For the nine school year. So right there is where I visually need to start again. So I need to click and drag and go back to the part where I made the mistake. So you have to kind of play around with this to make sure you've selected the right section. I'm going to play it now that I've got a selection highlighted and just press the space bar. For the nine school <clears throat> Okay, so that's the part I didn't want. And I know I've just counted into the part that I do want. So now I can press the delete key. And now if I just click a little bit before it and press the space bar, since the fall of 2012. For the nine school years prior to Logan, I taught in the Media Academy at MediaCom. So there I've made my first edit. I got rid of some unwanted space. So I'll go back down through the script. You should listen through everything until you make a mistake. Let's see if I can find it. I think it was about here, so you don't have to listen to the whole thing. Also taught part-time at Cogswell College and for the University of California Santa Cruz Extension. My goal is to... Okay, so right there, the beginning of my goal is... If I look at my script, that's my last sentence. Let's see if you can visually find where I need to pick it up. Right here, this indicates the 2, 1. Let me just click before it. 2, 1. My goal is to... And there's where I start my goal again. So that's an easy visual cue, but let's go back here to make sure I'm in the right spot. And for the University of California Santa Cruz Extension. Okay, so this is where I need to start. My goal is to... So I'm going to go ahead and click there and just drag and play it back. My goal is to... So now that I've got it selected, I'll press delete, back up a little bit. Extension. My goal is to help students obtain knowledge and develop skills that will make them successful beyond high school. And that's where my script ends, right here. So I'll check my script, that's where it ends. And I know that all this extra sound is not something I need, so I'll just click and drag to select it and hit the delete key. Now, I can zoom everything out again by using the Fit Project button. Now that it's zoomed out, I'll see I've got a little extra sound at the beginning, so I'll just go ahead and 
delete that, and I'll play the whole thing through. My name is Rich Yako, and I... Now, you should play the entire soundtrack through, make sure that you're happy with it. I'm not going to put you through listening to all of this, but I know that it came out well, so I'm going to go to the File menu and save my project. Now, even though it's saved, it's not ready for you to start video editing. So you need to go back to the File menu and choose Export. We don't want to keep it in the native Audacity format. We want to change it. So make sure you're in your project folder, in this case my elevator pitch project, and make sure the format that you're going to save it to is called WAVE. Make sure the naming format is right, and then click Save. You'll get a window like this, which you don't need to fill in, so just click OK. And now you have your project saved, so you can quit Audacity. If your script is open, go ahead and close it. Then go to your project folder and check for the file that is a WAV file. And in this case, since we're showing the extensions, you can see the difference. This one was AUP, the file we started with. This was all the sound files associated with this Audacity project. But this one, the WAV file, is self-contained. So with it selected, I'll just press the space bar. My name is Rich Yako, and I have been the video production teacher at James Logan High School. And I can make sure that it plays all the way through, and it's ready to use in my video editing.